Hello, I am here again with the speed paint. This first minute and a half or so is going to be the thumbnail version from Quip Studio, and then when I actually get to paint it, I'll switch over to the screen recording. I was initially just going to use the Quip Studio version, but I realized a bit too late that if I did that, you'd only get the zoomed out process. As usual, this being a speed paint, you're probably going to want to watch for flashing colors and a quickly flipping canvas and other visual problems. I'm drawing the protagonist for the new book series, A Starless Clan. From left to right, they are Flamepaw, Frostpaw, and Sunbeam. I won't be covering any plot spoilers in this video, if I can help it. Um, I'm planning on it. I'm planning on talking about it, just not right now. When a new bunch of protagonists comes out, what the characters are going to look like is kind of up in the air. Last time around, while Root Spring was new, I already had designs in my videos for Bristlefrost and Shadowpaw, but for these guys, I didn't really have much of anything. Sunbeam is the character whose design matters to me the least. Uh, how much or how little white she has on her is pretty whatever, and the only real thing to keep in mind is that, despite the fact she's called Sunbeam, she's a brown tabby cat. We actually haven't had a brown tabby protagonist since Leafpool and Brambleclaw, so that's a nice change of pace. Frostpaw, however, is like the sixth gray cat in a row, so I let the Warrior Cats website win and give, gave her a hint of something that kind of resembles point coloration. I also want to make her kind of chubby, because I feel like it's kind of wasted potential not to lean into that when we finally have a Riverclan protagonist. And then on the left we have Flamepaw. His most important trait is that he's not orange. In the books, he's entirely a black cat as far as the fur goes. His eyes are a different story. This is basically unignorable because he brings it up every five minutes or so, saying things like, I look nothing like Firestar, and at least my sister Finchpaw has a little orange on her, I don't have any. And uh, yeah, he just kind of goes on about that. You know, lately, I'm not gonna go into, not gonna go into any plot spoilers. <laughs> but I do find Flamepaw conceptually a little bit ridiculous. Anyways, moving on to the actual paint part of this. My process for painting is really simple. I just put more detail on top until I like what I'm looking at. I never think too terribly hard about it because I'm having fun. I'm doing what I feel like doing and what I like to see and not really what I think is wrong or right. And because of this, not everything looks super coherent or perfect, but it doesn't need to be because it's Warrior Cats fan art. I don't actually get a lot of time to paint lately. It's, it's not that I don't have time to paint, actually. It's really just that I'm either working or I'm resting, and painting falls in almost like a nebulous in between those two actions. But if I paint and then record it and then call it work, then maybe painting can be working. My brushes are a mess, and you can probably tell that immediately. They all have nonsense names that only apply to me, and they're all vaguely edited versions of brushes from the Clip Studio paint store, and I won't be giving them out for that reason. Like, for one, I can barely remember what most of them originally were, and secondarily, I don't remember which ones were free and which ones I paid for, so to give them away would be, uh, morally questionable. For this one, I used almost entirely the same brush, which I like because it's got a more traditional paintbrush shape, but a watercolor outline around it, which adds a little bit of texture to my strokes. I like texture. I like it when paintings have lots and lots of artificial texture. This isn't a spoiler, but this never happens in the books. These three characters are never anywhere near each other. Um, okay, that's not true. Uh, Frostpaw is never anywhere near the other two. The, the other two have conversation at the gathering, a conversation at the gathering, but other than that, these characters never really communicate, and uh, it, it kind of feels more like three completely separate stories, kind of like the early Seekers books. It's funny, actually, because I'm pretty sure the, uh, the cover of the first book shows them all together when they're never actually all together. I think out of all of them, Frostpaw actually came out the way I like best. Um, which is funny because if you look back at the sketch that I was doing, I was having a lot of trouble getting her chin the way I wanted it. Another thing you'll probably notice is that I don't really use that many layers, or, or more, so, more so what I do is I make a whole bunch of layers, but then I flatten them all every time I feel like I've hit a certain goal and, um, and then go back and draw over them if I want to change something. And uh, I'm not really sure if that's the best way to go about making a painting, but it's the only way my brain wants to work. Granted, if this was traditional painting, I wouldn't have layers at all, so uh, maybe it's a good bad habit? I love how I can just make a bunch of lines on something and then it looks like fur and I'll just make a bunch more lines and it looks like more fur. I'm not always drawing cats because I like warrior cats, I'm always drawing cats because I like painting fur. 
For some non-spoilery background on these characters, Sunbeam is a cat that has been living in ShadowClan since late A Vision of Shadows. Both of her parents were clan cats, but she was born outside of the clans thanks to Darktail's meddling. She's seemingly sort of almost cat-dating Blazefire when the story starts, and she's friends with Lightly. Frostpaw is the brand new medicine cat apprentice in RiverClan. She got appointed after she started seeing signs as a kit, and she's seemingly very enthusiastic about her role. Going into any more detail is basically spoilers for her. Flamepaw is from ThunderClan, and he's one of the kids Sparkpelt has in Squirrelflight's Hope. He's an older apprentice, and he's just on the cusp of being promoted when the book starts. He's resentful of a lot of the adults in his life for various reasons, and concerned about seemingly being named after Firestar when he doesn't resemble him. I'll talk about all of these guys and how I feel about them in upcoming videos, but for now I figured I'd give a quick summary. While both Sunbeam and Frostpaw start out happy with their situations and eventually become more stressed, Flamepaw is a little bit moody from the very beginning of the story. But I still found my initial sketch to be a little bit too grumpy looking while the other two looked so unstressed, so I lightened Flamepaw's expression a little bit. A another thing I really like doing is giving cats massive, huge foreheads. It just makes them cute. <laughs> the, the, the lower down on the face I can put the eyes, and the bigger I can make the forehead, the cuter the cat gets. I know that a lot of people want to see warrior cats as if they're like, you know, big, tough warriors from the forest, but uh, I, I just see them as kitty cats. My, w when I'm reading the book, I just think about cute little kitty cats mewing things at each other, accusing each other of being traitors or breaking the warrior code, but they're still like little fluffy kitty cats doing such. Even someone like Tigerstar, it's hard for me to like picture him as being, um, this, this big buff cat or anything. I just think, oh yes, a brown tabby like Ocelot. And then my brain just sees Tiger Star as a little Ocelot squeaking in the forest. Something else I do just because it's cute, um, I only give the cats three toes. Uh, sometimes, occasionally, you can catch me giving the cats the right amount of toes, but <laughs> usually, usually I'm only drawing these cats having three toes. <laughs> Every so often someone has, um, commissioned me to draw like a like a, a pet portrait or an animal and I'll be like okay I'm, I'm gonna give this cat real paws actual paws I suppose <laughs> but um for for warrior cats fan art I, I just kind of um do whatever I want to I'm just about done at this point and then I realize that I actually haven't given Sunbeam her stripes so I go through and um paint all of Sunbeam's stripes in one of her stripes is just falling right off her tail this is fine it's, it, it's kind of funny looking, I like it. Um, <laughs> I also redo her eyes because I realized that she wasn't actually looking at Frostpaw anymore, so I uh, fixed that up a little bit too. And then I put eye shines on everybody. And after that point, I'm just about done. Uh, aside from touching up a few more things, I put an overlay on to uh, change the color a little bit. I flatten everything and move them to be more in the center of the image. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint.